This session is all about how you innovate faster with Gen AI, with enterprise-ready Gen AI. Businesses all over the world are getting value from Gen AI. It's absolutely fascinating to see. And cool, later on, Fiona from Wayfair is gonna come talk about what she's doing with Gen AI. You might have heard, for some of you who made it from the keynote all the way over here, Tom is talking about effectively this kind of ecosystem and these platforms. And so we're basically going to dive into one of those today, and that one is Vertex AI. And so we're going to talk about Vertex, and we're going to talk about that platform that lots of these different agents are actually built on top of. And so that blue box there, and we split Vertex into effectively three parts. So at the top part, we have DevTools, Agent Builder, Middle is how do you enhance these models, model builder. And then the tools in the bottom and the models in the bottom are model garden. Let's talk a little bit about model garden right now. When we first came up with model garden, we went out and we found open models, we first party models, partner models, and we brought them together and then we curated them and we made sure that they actually worked and we did a bunch of work to make sure that they work with our tools and so made it super easy for you then to get at all these great world-class models. And so first and foremost for us is actually Gemini. And even though we only shipped it December 13th, there's already a million developers using Gemini today. We actually are shipping another version of Gemini 1.0 called R2. It's faster, so lower latency, it does chat better, and it really improves coding in all sorts of amazing ways. And some of you might have heard a little bit about Gemini 1.5, the million context window. It's huge. And you can basically put all that data in one place and then reason over that data. So foundation models, updating Gemini 1.0, and we have the twin Geminis at the top, no pun intended. Um, and then we have a new speech model called Chirp V2. Imagine, so we shipped Imagine V1 uh, a couple months ago, and basically that was text to image. And this model has been super successful. In the last month, the usage has increased 300%. We did this thing called text to live image, which effectively allows you to animate images, create GIFs out of interesting kind of prompts. This model is absolutely taking off. We think that responsibility is core to what we do and the models that we build. And so we took some more tech from DeepMind called SynthID and put invisible watermarks on everything that comes out of Imagine, and so you know that it was built by an AI model. We believe in choice and the open ecosystem. And so we've added partner models and open models as part of this, and so we're proud to announce that we added Anthropics model, Claude. We also open models. We also ship an open version of Gemini called Gemma, Code Gemma, Recurrent Gemma. These are the open versions that you can take of Gemini and do some amazing innovation on top of that. We work with our friends at Hugging Face to do integration right within Vertex AI. One of the last things we did with Model Garden is we built this org policy that defines access to those models within Vertex. So you can actually, as an admin, say these are the types of models that I want you to experiment with and go to production with. So let's pop up the stack to Model Builder. So we talked about here are the models. Now how do you enhance these models and make them your own? Tuning and customizing, taking my data with these models, putting them together, augmentation, and monitoring deploy. Well, today we're announcing supervised tuning on top of Gemini, so you can take your data with our best model and do tuning on top of that, and it works super well. We actually built a prompt management solution right into the tool so that you can have version history, you can put tags on it, you can put notes on it, you can share those prompts, you can evaluate, and you can use this AI assistant. And it kind of leads us to like, how do we actually do model evaluation? And I talk to a lot of customers who struggle, struggle, struggle with this and spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to evaluate models. And so we built a bunch of stuff within the actual interface. I'm gonna invite Polong on stage, and he's gonna do a demo for us and show us how all these pieces work. Take a look at this image of a cake. The aspect ratio is one by one, right? Now, what if I, what if I think, maybe the end user needs this to be in a different aspect ratio, like 16 by nine. And you can't just crop this image into a 16 by nine ratio, because that's, that's just not gonna work. And that's where outpainting can help. So let me click on outpaint, choose 16 by nine, and here let me center this, and click generate. 
Now, I'm doing this in the UI, but as a developer, I can also do all of my image generation or editing needs via the Vertex AI SDK. And that allows me to scale across lots and lots of images. So let's see if we see the results. If not, we can switch over. Oh, it just finished. Excellent. Let's take a look at these results here. So this is the original one by one, and now we have the 16 by nine image. That's the first candidate. We have the second one. We have the third one. And then we have the fourth one. All looking quite astounding compared to the original one by one image. Now, that is still keeping the spirit of this original uh, image of the product. And that really is the beauty of editing with Imagine 2.0. One of the things that we learned as we were building different agents this year, and we learned this a lot through the AI search and conversation stuff that we built, was that there's a set of tools that are really cool for developers that they can use. And so this agent builder platform came out of that. And that agent builder platform goes everything from you know, different types of orchestration to primitives and things like that. And so this platform actually has three different uh, components to it at the top, which is you can start with no code. And so at that top layer, that no code layer, we're announcing Vertex AI agents. And so you basically have a set of templates that are pre-built, and then you can go into those templates and you don't need to code. You can ground them in your own data and you can test and publish them. And you can also iterate on them as you're putting them out there. And literally, within less than 10 minutes, you can take and put an agent out on your website if you want. We also believe in open source. And we also believe in meeting developers where they're at. And so today, we're announcing Langchain on Vertex AI. So some of the things you might have seen out there is you know, the model basically kind of cuts off at some date with training on what data it has. But you can ground it in Google Search. So you can now ground your model within the world's best search. And we actually allow you to ground the model as well within your own data. And so there's kind of two pieces of two ways to do that. So let's talk a little bit about enterprise readiness. You know, we didn't build these models independently in a field by themselves. We basically built them to be enterprise ready because we have years and years of experience building machine learning models and deploying them in scale. And then your data is your data. And of course, we also protect you with indemnification. We also are expanding the number of countries that you can get Vertex Gen AI in. And so all around the world, as you see quarter by quarter, we're rolling out into new countries around the world. And then responsibility. We've talked a lot about you know, our responsibility and what we need to do, but part of it is also giving you tools and putting those tools in your hands so that you can know that things are responsible. And the ecosystem is growing like crazy. And so little known, but 200,000 people around the world are trained today on Google AI. So lastly, let's just bring it back together. There's really three pieces to this puzzle. One is Agent Builder, these dev tools that we have on top. Model Builder, I want to take my data and enhance the models and make it something my own. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you today, and I hope you have an awesome, awesome week. Thanks very much.